today we are going to discuss the cam profile synthesis of a flat face follower so the question is it is required to set out the profile of a cam to give the following motion to the reciprocating follower with a flat contact face the follower to have a stroke of 20 mm during the 120 degree cam rotation follower to dwell for 30 degree of cam rotation follower to return to its initial position during 120 degree of cam rotation and follower to dwell for remaining 90 degree of cam rotation the minimum radius of the cam is 25 mm the outstroke and the return stroke of the follower is performed with a simple harmonic motion i hope you know how to draw the displacement diagram for a simple harmonic motion for the follower motion so this is the displacement diagram of a simple harmonic motion so here 120 degree is for the outstroke then 30 degree for the dwell then for the return stroke it is of again 120 degree then for the remaining 90 degree it's again dwell so please refer my previous lectures for understanding how to draw the displacement diagram for the follower if the follower is for, uh, moving with a simple harmonic motion okay so here i am going to explain how to draw the cam profile for a flat faced follower okay so first of all we have to start with the base circle okay so here the minimum radius of the cam is 25 mm so the base circle radius will be of 25 mm so first of all you have to draw the base circle with a radius 25 mm so after that here for the in the question it is theta o is equal to that means theta outstroke is equal to 120 degree then dwell 30 degree after that again theta return stroke is of 120 degree for the remaining dwell is 90 degree okay so here you have to divide the circle into four parts that means the first is for the outstroke and it will be having 120 degree again dwell of 30 degree after that theta return stroke theta return stroke for 120 degree remaining 90 degree of dwell so then what you have to do next is divide this 120 degree into six equal divisions okay so dividing this 120 degree into six equal divisions because you have divided this 120 degree in the displacement diagram also as six divisions so that's why you have to divide here also in six equal divisions okay so i am dividing this base circle into six equal divisions for the theta outstroke and i am naming it as one two three four five six points after that there is dwell then theta return stroke that is of 120 degree again again this I, again i am dividing this 120 degree into six equal divisions 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash next what you have to do is join this lines that, in, that means o 1 and extend that line o 2 extend, extend that line o 3 extend that line okay similarly you have to complete all the lines after that you have to after that you have to take this measurement that means 1 b in the compass and place your compass at the point 1 and mark a point b okay next you have to measure this length 2 c place your compass at 2 and mark a point c okay so similarly you have to mark all the points that means a b c d e f g h j k l m n p all these points you can mark with the help of this displacement diagram okay so after marking all these points draw your first flat face follower at the point a okay so this is your first flat face follower and this particular dimension 
okay this particular dimension is not provided in your question so you can assume a convenient dimension for this particular diagram make sure that this flat face follower is perpendicular to this line o a okay perpendicular to the line o a okay so after that you have to draw the flat face of the same dimension what the dimension that you have taken over here that same dimension you have to draw at the point b such that the face of the follower is perpendicular to the line OB. Okay. Again at C, you have to draw the perpendicular. Again at D, same. So at all points, similarly, you have to draw the flat faced follower. Okay. So after that, what you have to do is starting from A, you can see that starting from A, you have to plot the curve in such a way that all the face all the face of the follower will be tangent to the curve that will that you are going to plot okay so you have to draw the curve in such a way that all the flat faced followers will be tangent so you can see that all the faces are tangent okay so this is your required cam profile okay so please try to do this problem Thank you.